In our last episode, we made a lot of great progress with automating, for example, perfectly uh, copper and iron production next to each other and next to the mines. We have also automated the maintenance, right? We have two maintenance depot level one that are fully automated. We have the resources at the start, copper, iron and rubber. And all of this is sort of a closed loop, you know, can't really have any trucks coming over here. Everything is off. So this will make sure that we always have enough maintenance, at least until we, you know, we need to produce a lot more. We also continue to expand our population. We are now more than 400 people with potatoes and vegetables. And last but not least, we started a mini bus over here with the basic resources. We're going to take things like copper, rubber and iron to make our vehicle parts. And also now in this episode, we're going to start with lab equipment level one. Because yes, it's definitely time to move now to the second part. Right, this is the really early game. And now we're moving into the second part where we need a lab research level two to get unlocked. You know, all of those things cannot work with the lab level one. To build a lab level two, you need 60 construction part level two. We have done this. And you also need, by the way, 10 lab equipment. So that's what we've started to do over here, right? We have mechanical parts and electronics making lab equipment. I also started to store them, but for now I had put off so the trucks couldn't get them. Now I'm going to put it on so the trucks are going to come, take this and finish those two. While this is happening, you know, you can see it now over here. The second thing we're going to do right away in this episode is create a similar bus next to it, which will be focusing on construction parts. Right, we're going to do construction parts level 1, construction part level 2, and then 3 and 4, etc. While here this goes into other things like more kind of vehicle parts, research, etc. Now you don't have to separate them, you can definitely put them together if you want. In this case, I do want to separate them for a couple of reasons. The first one and main one at this point is I want to be able to you know, manage separately the priorities. For example, I could say the priority to keep this full is 9 versus the priority to keep this one full will be you know 11. So the trucks will go first here to make sure that you know we have research and we have the vehicle parts going well and this is less important in a sense so that gives you a bit of uh, more control on the priorities now we could also use things like flat balancers to make that happen and this is definitely what we'll do but more in the future when i have more space talking about space you can see that we have also made progress right there is more and more of this that's getting full it is actually quite low though uh, Right, you can see it's at minus three basically or minus two so yeah it's taking a while but we're making progress and progress and here it is the two labs have been created now they do need to get medical equipment before they can work so let's do this now the medical the lab equipment sorry are coming and we can see you know it's coming here and so the cargo depot the first one over here is starting I have basically now selected all of this, right? We're going to need to do it all. We're definitely going to want also the ship. But this is great. And this also means we have finished this. We have also discovered an oil ring, so that's fine. Now we're going to want power generation and advance this all soon. While, uh, you know, this is being researched, as I said, let me build this and explain also a bit what is happening. So we're going to unpause the whole thing. It's going to take a while to be built, <laughs> but it's also going to be very good. So we have, you know, similarly, all of the inputs. We have the copper over here. We have the rubber. This is going to be used to make electronics. For now, only one. In the future, you know, the reason why I like a bus like this, it's, it's very easy to expand this in the future, right? I can put as many as I want and just uh, bring this forward. And then whatever is built, you know, in this case, the electronics, goes over here into this storage. Then we're also going to bring uh, the iron over here, some wood and some concrete. This is going to be used over here to, to this assembly level two to make 12 construction parts. Actually, I didn't select <laughs> the recipe, my bad. <laughs> so that's going to be you know, delivered over here. We have basically the wood at level zero. We have the iron at level one over here, right? Goes here at level one. And we have the concrete slabs right going over here at level two. This is this one. And then very compact because we have those lifts, right? So that's what's happening here. And with this, we're making construction part level one that are going into the next storage. 
and then with this storage you know you go over here we're gonna make construction parts level one and electronics for construction part level two which will go into this final storage and uh, electronics right we're making over here they're coming there so that's basically what's gonna happen you know we're going to obviously uh, also make sure that we bring some of these resources right and as i said this could be priority 11 it's not needed to be priority uh, 9 so we make it less in important in a sense than the average and then on this one you know we could say that we can take some if needed right because that's the idea we want to be able to take some to bring to the rest to basically build stuff we are low on electricity so we may have to quickly uh, create another one let's go let's do this right away this is though going to start burning quite oh, we don't have enough sorry my bad so let's unpause it but it's gonna take a while um, this is starting to burn quite a lot of diesel so you can see my diesel is not very high even if I did add a second one over here we used to have only one basic distiller now we have a second one see we have a problem with electricity this should definitely be priority number one uh, because remember these are necessary for my electricity as I just said so if uh, they are low like if it's not working we don't get electricity and then nothing works so yeah we may need even a third one but more importantly you know we probably want to get into power generation uh, quite quickly <laughs> so that's some progress uh, i see something is wrong over here okay we have cut all of the trees so let me see i think we're gonna cut more on this side now because these are the next mines we're gonna want to go into there's also sand there that i probably want to get to quite quickly but yeah, so we, as I said, we are making a bit more of diesel. I'm going to see if that starts going up or down, um, but all good there. In terms of here, I think we are very good, right? There are some good reserves, so that's not a problem. This is fine. We're slowly but surely, you know, using all of the coal there, but there is also a lot of coal underground. We'll just have to be careful not to get, uh, you know, a lake started here because we're quite close to the water while this is being built over here i have started a new project there but before let me explain why i've started a new project there so pressing l i can check everywhere there is oil we have a small deposit over here back in our city right and i say small because look at this it is almost already at 50 percent it's going down pretty quickly and probably i need to even put a third uh, layer right a third line of oil pumps because you know this is not increasing at all i'm consuming too much right now so we're gonna need to empty this pretty quickly now the advantage is we do have another one over here that's a bit bigger now this seems a lot bigger but it's just the radius is bigger the reserves i don't think are that much bigger actually maybe we should check together now uh, before I sell the wrong things. So here it is. Let's place one and check it. So it is double. Instead of 50,000, there is 100,000. So that's going to keep us a bit longer. But first of all, also, uh, you know, it's not that easy. There are a lot of trees. It's also clearly not flat at all, right? So that's going to be a challenge. And then when this is finished, we're done. There's no more uh, oil, you know, on the islands. There is a lot there, but to get there, we're going to need to terraform by quite a lot. So we're going to need to rely on the map you know this is going to come very soon now with the cargo depot the next research we're doing so i'll explain when this comes but the problem with the cargo depot is you need a place to put it and i was actually think, looking at it and you know if you put a cheap yard this is or even just a trading dock but let's put a cheap yard this is sort of the size of a good cargo depot there is nowhere on the map that i can put it because either it's too high or it's too low or it's not flat at all right you can look at this not flat at all this is too low for example this was at level one uh, so we have a problem and that's why i've started this over here where i'm gonna start to terraform you know the cost over here to make it basically flat at level two so some of it we're going to dig and some of it we're going to dump right to make it uh, as flat as possible and then i'm starting here all right but then i'm also going to continue on this side we may have to go uh, this one is a bit annoying 
we may have to go one more we'll see but i can start with that one then we can do this one etc a few minutes later ladies and gents and my diesel is getting really low but i'm missing construction parts to increase this so this is a great way to show you the new loan functionality we're going to be able to borrow some uh, you know resources in this case based on my credit score i can only borrow 100 so let's definitely um you know borrow 100 and then we have to repay 17 for 10 years so let's do this uh, so now i have you know 100 of these construction part level 2 and so i can quickly deliver here so that my call is going to be delivered automatically into this third distillery all right to make more diesel i have also paused this one very quickly to make sure that this starts to go up a bit all right and this we have enough you know in my truck to deliver to my people because yeah i had a couple of trucks that i had no diesel or no fuel left so that wasn't great we will have to restart this soon of course because otherwise we're gonna have problems with our maintenance and things like this but i bought us a couple of time now you may have also realized that i created also two pipes there is a first pipe that is merging those first two and then there is another pipe for the third one why because this pipe level one is only transporting 60 per minute right and so 24 times 3 is obviously more than 60 so if i had put this basically like this right if i had done this it would have been shorter of course but it would have uh, limited the production versus now i have the full production you know the 72 basically of production per minute so that's an important one hopefully that's going to re-increase quickly my production and then by the way what i can also do now for this is i can also repay some of it early you know instead of waiting 10 years to repay the whole thing i could say you know let's repay 50 right away so now if there's only six years left and there's only uh, 13 every year instead of 17 right and hopefully that will quickly become even better because shortly we should be able to start you know automating all of this but um, we're not there yet because look at this i still need a bit more of those construction part level too but the good thing is now we're gonna start making some pretty automatically okay and while this is happening obviously there is only one bridge between our two island and so there's a lot of trucks that are coming and going over here so i think it's actually a great place to put our first custom surface that's going to reduce the vehicle maintenance right Let's put a basic one, a concrete one. Oh no, actually, sorry. It's a bridge. We should put cobblestone. So let's do this. That's going to cost some uh, resources, but yeah, I think this is going to be nice. Let's uh, take this out. Okay. And I'll see you in a few more minutes. While we're here, let's take a minute to thank Bog Spoon for all of your comments on the last few videos. I hope you're going to enjoy this one. This excavator is for you. A few minutes later and our first bridge has now been customized. Right, that's really looking like a bridge now. It's not finished as you can see. We still need to build actually this part over here and we need to build also the trees. And let me show you how I've done that. So as I said, first step was to put a cobble surface, right? We can also in the future extend it a bit if you want. Uh, remember, I am in planning mode, so this is not going to be built until I press P and uh, you know start it uh, like this or press U to use unity to, to build it then second I click on paint and you can choose you know whichever color you want and then whichever sign you want including numbers and letters so you can even write words on the map now if you want in this case you know I use this one over here to be the border and then I use uh, just this line here to be sort of the middle line and so I can have truck row go on one side or the other now the reality is this is not an actual real road in terms of gameplay like satisfactory let's say right i'm not saying to this truck you have to drive on this side and when you come back you have to drive on that side but it sort of looks like it then what i did is i used the retaining wall which are more usually for underground mining but in this case i felt we're looking pretty nice over here on both sides of the bridge now they do cost quite a lot you know we're talking about 24 of concrete and i'm still not making concrete myself so i had to buy quite a few over here you can see it's costing a lot now 
um, to make it happen. And then last but not least, if you go into your landmarks and decoration, we have unlocked at this point a couple of trees. So you can place them. Now you can't place them anywhere you want. For example, over here, that doesn't work. I would love to have put it, you know, in the middle of the bridge, but it's not possible. You have to put it more on the floor like this. So I put, uh, you know, two here and two there. To build them, you don't actually need, as it says in the description, you don't need a forestry tower, but you do need a tree sapling and a tree planting vehicle, which frankly, I don't have at this point. Now we could build definitely easily a tree planter. This is this one over here. I have actually a lot of um, vehicle parts right now, so it wouldn't be a problem. But the tree sapling, you know, I would need to use one of these and put this one there. We'll do that maybe in the next episode. And secondly, now that I have three diesel distiller working, we are fine on diesel. You can see this is now full. We have more than 400. So we've sort of fixed that problem. We have restarted, you know, the rubber maker now. And so we have rubber here into the storage for maintenance. We're good. Last but not least, this has also been finished over here, right? Our new automated production to make construction part level one. This is over here and construction part level two, fully automated. When I say fully automated, obviously it still requires some inputs. We need to drive with our truck some copper, some rubber. That's fine. We're making this, right? We need to also drive some iron. That's fine. We're making this. Wood, we have tons, right? More than 2,000. So that's not a problem. And there's still a lot of wood there and there, right? Before we have to think about replanting. The only problem is we also need bricks or concrete slab in this case. We could use bricks, by the way. Yes, this is true. But in this case, I've put concrete slab and we haven't really started to make concrete slab. So we definitely need to do this in the next episode. The good thing is we have access to the resource, you know, limestone here, sand there. So it shouldn't be too much of a problem. We do have a problem, <laughs> which is that over here, all of the coal that was on the surface, we have now mined it, right? At level three, we have all of it is now been mined. We do have another one over here uh, that we could start, but it's a bit far. It's a bit of a mess, right? It goes very low, etc. So rather what I plan to do is show you how to do over here an underground mine. So we're gonna do this in the next episode, you know, we're gonna start going underground over here below the level three. And maybe while doing this, we can also improve a bit the ore sorting plant that's linked to it. While this was happening, we have started to make progress also on research. For example, we have finished power generation level two and basic distillation. So we'll probably also start this because also right, what's happening right now is that I often have a problem with energy. So it will be a good one to fix soon. Please smash the like button. Tell me in the comments below if you have any questions thoughts also if you want any of the excavators or truck to be named after you head to the comments and tell me